All right, so this piece, I thought I had to drill out. Luckily, I found someone special on YouTube that showed me what to do. So, now that I have this guy out, I got this B18, B1 engine and trans sitting here, and I really need that trans because it has a brand new clutch on it. So, started taking the wiring harness off this one, like all the, uh, from the transmission. Um, it has a blown head gasket, so I'm just gonna try and sell that. Door panels, besides this little uh, weird crease here, they're pretty good. And this button, a little loose, it's supposed to be like that. It's all loose, but you push in and it works. But not my concern right now. I really just want this car driving. So that's a big step for me, these pedals. That's sick. That's sick. Got these trim pieces on up here too. Back in. I uh, got the tail lights in. My tires are going flat. I still need to weld this in. Because uh, I'm getting some major misalignment here. When I get that lined up, I also need a new hood latch. Because I ran over this one, regardless. Anyway, it's coming together. I'm gonna put the dash in last. I'm gonna put back seats last. I'm not even gonna put seats in yet or carpet. I need it to still be a shell for when I, um, when I get the engine in, because who knows what else that's gonna come up. Another thing that I do have to do, uh, hook up the e-brake, get this little piece. I have that little piece. I don't think this is in actually, yeah. Just disconnect this real quick. And that tunnel, I have to cut out from the bottom. Or I could just drill out these rivets but they go all the way back. I'd rather cut it out from the bottom, weld a piece here, and then just be done with that. Um, I got the new throttle cable here too, because manual throttle cables are different than the automatic throttle cable. It's this piece that's different. And if you look, up there, you see that piece? It's like a flat. That piece. Yeah, so that's the auto one. And this is the manual one. It's a flat piece. I don't know what the difference is. I think it's just connecting into the gas pedal. But as you can see, gas brake clutch all good i still need to fix that mat behind there um but yeah it's looking good looking good all right boys sun's out damn these little wash but this thing looks so good in the sun can't wait to have actual good rims on here rather, rather than these things all right, engine bay needs to be uh, repainted or sanded down a little, regardless. Got the clutch uh, master in here. I think that's what that's called. Took that plate off, it's only held on by bolts. I said that earlier. Of course it's locked. Let's see which one's my key. Probably this one. Not scratch the door with the other keys. Fire. All right. As you can see, 
it's connected to the clutch pedal. Brake pedal's in, gas pedal's in, they're all in. It works. So. Yeah, all you gotta do is take off the two bolts that are on the inside. They should be 12 mil or 14 mil, I forget. Take off those two bolts. And to put the clutch pedal actually there. Oh, here it is. So this will be sitting like this. So you take these two off, I think they're 12 mil. And then uh, once you take that off, there is something that was in the way. This thing. This sits. So this is against your firewall and these are protruding inside the car. And then this guy sits like that. So after you take those bolts off, you have to remove this, obviously. Put that to the side somewhere. Um, I've heard in other videos that you don't need to plug this back in. It doesn't really cause anything. Um, I'll double check, but I'm just gonna plug this back in and remount it up here somewhere, not like in the back somewhere. So you'll have to remove this and this plate will come off. And then, everything will just slide in and then you just reuse those bolts up there and you got yourself a clutch so pretty easy next obviously we're missing the engine um but before even the engine i need fuel lines i need brake lines i need a gas tank i need auto to manual engine mounts because I'm not shaving that off and then rewelding it on. Seems sketchy to me. Um, is this locked too? Yeah. So I need a tank before I put an engine in and it'll be easier to put the lines in and run them uh, into the front of the car without the engine in it, obviously. But I need that, I need fuel pump, all that stuff. Uh, I need a line, or put my e-brake cable in. Um, what else I gotta do? I gotta get an alignment. And then one more trip back to the shop just to kind of realign everything in the front because it's not really lining up. But again, I think that's kind of because of this thing. It's not welded in at all down there, as you can see. And uh, I don't even think it's zip tied anymore. But yeah, that's the plan for this guy. It's not pushed down, but my little uh, shed shop. They got all like a bunch of interior panels and like random panels for dash and then other random stuff. All the engine and mechanical, I guess, components are up there. I got calipers, I got uh, alternator, just a bunch of stuff up there for this engine and pieces of my car. But yeah, got a welder too. pick this up. I need a face mask, that's the fucking mask that came with it, so I'm gonna need an actual mask. Probably tomorrow or another day. I'm gonna remove this transmission and uh, I have the ECU there for it, all the wiring. Uh, take that transmission. try and pull this motor take this engine um, sell that transmission but I want to take this engine put it in here 
Um, but before I do that, I want to put the transmission that I have in the backyard onto this motor because that transmission has a nice brand new clutch on it. So take this, um, probably take a couple things from the clutch there. Um, I got extra wiring if I need anything. Uh, my car didn't come with ABS, so I won't need that. And I have these sick headers here. So I have everything I need except for a fuel tank. I got brand new fuel tank, which I really want. I don't want to use one brake lines and fuel lines. So I can have this running pretty soon, but I just need to pull this engine out of this Integra. And as you can see, if I really, really need anything, I got every piece inside this Integra as well. Clutch isn't so good in this one, but I got every piece I need. <clears throat> so next video, hopefully it'll be me removing that transmission.